Hip-hop's first official union We fighting for rights Workers' rights, labor rights Y'all know what it is Fair wages Let's hit them Really speaking for the artist Everybody knows the music industry is heartless Knowledge reigns supreme Not what the artist on the chart is It's about fair wages and royalties Let me start this, fuck this It's about cultural self-reliance Corporate defiance We got this down to a science It's called the hip-hop alliance We take it back to stop the violence For 30 years I've been the culture's guidance You can't deny this I clean pupils when they open their eyelids In a blink I teach kids to think That's what I did and do Reaching and pulling out the culture inside of you With the truth Truth inside of you, no one can lie to you It's time to unify him, her, you and I Do your part to save the art, don't be a stupid guy Front, you can try, but it's your time you waste And we're starting an alliance against corporate exploitation Look, 34 million people in the United States have diabetes. One in five don't even know it. I have type 2 diabetes. I was lucky. I only lost some toes. Hip-hop legend Biz Marquis lost his life to complications related to type 2 diabetes. Knowing your risk can save your life. Find out at checkyourrisk.org. Yeah, yeah, see what I mean? From the outlaws, and I want you to check your risk. What's good? The great one, Jane and Jane here. Make sure you check your risk. All right, full circle. It's your girl, Miss Toy. Put your back into it and check your risk. Yo, this is Keith Robinson urging you to check your risk. Hey, it's your boy Nocturnal, Nocturnal Night Vision. You listen to the Shiznit TV and they got it, man. Nocturnal Night Vision, the Shiznit. All right, I need everybody. Come on up in here. Y'all already know when my hands get to doing this, that means it's going all the way up, ladies and gentlemen. All the way up. Come on up in here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. It's going all the way up, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, man, we connected live with my main man, Frank Noble. Man, it's going all the way up, ladies and gentlemen. We finna get stuck up in the hemisphere. You know how we do it right here on the She Is Near Talent TV. Hey, Stilo, you want to bring him in, man? Give him a little love. Frank Noble, man, you know, it's a big, big pleasure to have you on here on the She Is Near Talent TV to let the world know what you do. And it's your time right now. Put your thing down on this platform, my brother. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I appreciate y'all having me on here, man. What it is, world? It's the what, 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 what? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, before we get started, man, I want to give a shout out to Big Bayleaf. I know he's one of your main mans who been putting it down for a long time, checking you out. And man, it is a plum pleasing pleasure to have you on the show right now, my brother. I want to thank you, man, again from the bottom of my heart. Hey, the world want to know your story. I need you to let them know from the beginning to now where we are today. Get ready to rumble. Let them know, my brother. <laughs> like, uh, I am the next West thing. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my slogans. The show, okay. The show. Come from South Central. Born in Compton. Raised in South Central LA. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying for, for a little while, a lot of people don't know about me. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the cut. Life situation been having me up in the news to sing, but uh, I'm here now, though, and I ain't going nowhere. That's right. That's right. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. So, so early in your career, how 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 old were you when you first embraced music and started wanting to be a part of the music industry? I've been freestyling, dealing with the music since you know high school, playing with it. But uh, I say around two thousand and four. That's when I really got serious with it. But I was out there in San Diego for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? So I came back. To LA around 2010 and then hop mm -hmm. back on it. Hop right back on it, huh? That's sure. right, that's right. So are you a producer as well? No, I'm uh I'm an artist, CEO. Artist, writer. Yes, sir. 
I decide. Mm -hmm. So how do you how do you pick your beats when you uh you know get your beats and start writing to them? Man, I uh, got a, a few producers on the team. You know what I'm saying? I just uh, listen to their batches and pick the best ones. Mm -hmm. go. Exactly. And then with your writing skill, uh, how do you how do you come up with your content? You know your lyrical content. I pretty much just let the beat speak to me. You know, depending mm -hmm. on the style of beat, if it's a club joint, or you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, street joint, I just kind of fill mm -hmm. it out and then just go from there. I don't really come with the concepts. Uh, I mean, unless I just got one off the top of the head, you know what I'm saying, then I'll go mm -hmm. from there. It depends on the style of beat, though. Mm. Yeah, you got a couple hot songs that's uh, coming out right now. You got Stacking Lucci. How did you come up with that concept and that title? That's pretty dope. I oh, appreciate it, man. Uh, just had to let the world know, you know what I'm saying, what level I was mm -hmm. on at the moment, you know what I'm saying? I'm about this bread, and, and I had to let them know I'm coming. So uh, that beat really talked to me, you know what I'm saying, and Stacking Lucci was born. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Do you uh, ever get a uh, writer's block, or if you do, how do you overcome it? I step away from the beat for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Smoke a couple blunts, mm -hmm. uh, pour a little drink, and mm -hmm. then get back to it, huh? It's a nonstop thing. So, how many hours do you spend in the studio when you start laying your stuff down? <laughs> it don't take you, you an overnight or you? No, nah, I, I it don't do take you long. You said I do a song like in 30 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's that's pretty fast. You ask me. That's the shears knit. <laughs> Thirty wow. minutes, knock one down. That's yes, pretty sir. good. Are you? You know, we on uh, smoke the mic Friday at home of freestyle. You freestyle? I do, but right now I'm kind of on one right now. So yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so what do you prefer, freestyle or writing? I prefer writing, but I can get down to freestyle though. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So would you uh uh consider yourself uh how could I say it a uh, uh, artist uh your style? What is your style like? That's what I'm getting at. What would you consider your style to be? Reality rap. Mm. Reality rap. Because uh I heard they shot that out on that uh straight out of Compton. Mm. But I've been saying that for a long time. Is that right? That's been wow. Me. You must write what I know, you know, things I've been through, mm -hmm. that I've seen. That's what I rap about. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's most what most of us write about. You know what I mean? Um, um, how did you come up with the name Frank Noble? Um, well, Frank is my government. And then uh, just growing up, being young around elders, everybody thought I was older than what I really was. So just being on the block, you know what I'm saying? Looking at me like, hold on, like you you not our age, but yet I could still hold a conversation, still alert, watching everything, just like you know what I'm saying, big homies. The big wow, homies that's, that's noble. So I just you know I'm stuck with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that, that made you noble in the game. That's dope, man. Shit. Oh, oh, yeah. You used to call me young, though. Oh, no. uh, you know, from the outlaws, you know, came on the scene. And then I just, you know what I'm saying, threw my government on the first up. Oh, that's right. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, man, that's what you got to do when you, uh, you know, striving for greatness. And I see it coming out of you, man. You know, just listening to your tracks and seeing what you're doing. And you with, you know what I'm saying, making things happen to Go all the way up, <clears throat> man. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, got a couple more good questions before I play this first video. Can you talk about any uh music influence that you might have right now, or inspirations that you know people who inspire you in this game? Well, just coming up in the game, of course, like everybody on the West Coast. That's that's the majority of my style. But I'm pretty much versatile. I can you know do anything, but. I would say, you know, the Dr. Dre's, the, the first of all, NWA, you know what I'm saying? That's where it all came from. <laughs> That's right. Other than that, as far as 
other than the the, the offspring, the, the Snoops, and uh, who would say Tupac, of course, uh, Jo. Uh, mm-hmm. It ain't really too many people that uh, you know, other than the West Coast E Forty. You know what I'm saying? But uh, far as new, other than that, uh, Crooked Eye. One of ones okay. that uh sparked some interest in uh who else Kendrick of course mm-hmm. uh the list goes on I don't really want to name too many of them but uh that's right <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that but as long as that you know give you motivation inspire you so how did you stay relevant in this game now that uh, you pop back in and you're doing your thing how do you uh you know stay active and, and keep people you know wanting to hear your music. Just try to come with music that people can relate to, you know. None of that mumbo, you know what I'm saying? None of that uh, mumble rap. Try to mm-hmm. stay focused and uh and dedicated to the craft and uh, you know, show mm-hmm. the world West Coast ain't going nowhere. Absolutely. So you 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 consider yourself a real hip hop head, huh? Sir. <laughs> That's right. I say the same, man. I feel like I'm a real hip hop head, man. And with that being said, hey, man, you know, you seen that uh, video. Do you know about the Hip Hop Alliance or Seals Art and Literacy? I'm not aware of that. Oh, OK. Well, um, Hip Hop Alliance is a, uh, the new hip hop union for artists such as yourself, me and anybody else that want to, you know, you know, dive off into this industry. Uh, it's a it's a great thing. I think you should get involved with it. Uh, it's a way for you to uh be able to uh find out what's really happening in the industry and all the new changes that's happening in all the you know music societies that's that's happening with artists and how they get paid and all of that stuff. And just knowing the business, it's a lot of great things over there that you can learn to uh be well rounded in this business. But they got a uh a, a program going where they stopping the violence in hip hop. And I was gonna ask you. If you could leave a solution on the table, paying it forward into the future for the youth that's coming behind us, you know what I mean? Maybe you got some artists that you might be working with. What could you leave on the table for them to stop violence in uh, hip hop and the music industry in general? Man, that's a great one. See, I'm going to start with your hat. Mm-hmm. Oh, you see that? <laughs> Man, I wanted to do this. What I want to say, two thousand and I want to say two thousand and ten, maybe earlier. I brought it mm-hmm. up on Facebook. I said we need to redo the all. We all in the same game. Mm-hmm. I said well, the only thing about my city, the hood politics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody won't come together because you know everybody's focused on what 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 hood did to the next hood. You know, mm-hmm. so. That was the main thing. Everybody couldn't come together because, you know, somebody got a relative or a homeboy that, you know, passed away and all this, and they don't want to let it go. So I always been big on everybody coming together. So my thing is now is just a lot of people can't let stuff go. Mm. To move forward, you have to let stuff go. Not, not, not forget, of course, you know, but as long as people not doing stuff directly to you, then just stay focused. You know, you got to have a homeboy from this hood and all that. I'm, I'm cool with everybody. As long as ain't nobody bringing that to me. Hey, mm-hmm. I don't know where you from. Just like, oh, mm-hmm. I see on the you spoken to. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just focused on, you know, the, the, the big unity. And, and unfortunately, my city, L.A., man, it's hard to bring it. Mm, mm. that's why we're trying to figure out what we can do collectively as a whole you know what i mean uh i don't know if the project has ended but uh we're gonna keep it going in a way such a way that we're gonna keep trying to find the solutions that's gonna work and then also uh they had a project going where they was uh asking artists from all over the world you know all over the globe to send in a song you know in reference to that so you might want to, like I say, hook up with them and send them a song if you got something you can put on the table that uh say stop violence and hip hop in the music industry in general. If uh, I don't have I'm, one, I'm, I'm I'm most certain they they accept it, huh? If I don't have one for that right now, I will definitely create one for that platform. Definitely. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need more of. You know what I'm saying, brothers who be willing to do just that. You know what I mean? Create a song that can you know go into the future that these kids can use. 
and say, hey, man, if they can do it, we can do it. And being one of the, you know, uh, rawest elements of the street, which is that gang banging, you know what I'm saying? I'm blue rag from the Bloods and Crips banging on wax, if you didn't know. And so that was my whole mission over 30 years ago to, to bring the two together and uh, create ways that we can, you know, come together and make money and not kill each other in the street. And I'm still pushing that line, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that what I started back then get finished in the now, you know what I'm saying? Paying it forward on into the future for positivity and prosperity, you know, for all those coming behind me, you know what I'm saying? Trying to lay a real, 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 real blueprint down for success, you know, with the young youth going forward, you know what I mean? Sir. Absolutely, man. So, yeah, if you can, write one of them songs up, man, and uh, hook up with the Hip Hop Alliance, man, and uh, shoot that song through because uh, you could get on that project possibly and uh, that'll help, you know, extend and expand yeah. your, uh, your um, you know, your visuals and everything and then your lyrical content and style to help save some lives out here, man, would yeah. be very helpful in this movement. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to get that oh, man, for real. Yeah, it, well, the hiphopalliance.org is right there on the bottom, as as well as uh, Seals, Arts, and Literacy. Right. Yeah. And if you're doing anything in the community for our community activist work, you know, talking with the young youth, uh, Seals, Arts, and Literacy, they love to have, you know, volunteers and people that they can come out and uh, help in those type of uh, events and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, it'll be good for you to, you know, tap in and just see what it is and see if it'd be something you'd be interested in. But I think moving forward into the future, we're going to need a lot more of this. You know what I mean? Having yeah. platforms such as this to be able to dialogue and talk about certain issues that plague our community. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, this is, I thank you for that, man. Uh, yeah. So, brothers out there, if you didn't hear it, he basically saying, man, we could do it. We just got to do it together. Lay down them differences, man. If God, uh, Jesus can do it, lay down his, you know, life for his friends which is us all of us you know what i'm saying and give us you know hope yeah man come on man we can do it for the world our self humanity basically you know what i mean absolutely uh uh you got any questions for him Steelo beats man you know i you know, i keep growing. all right yeah you keep... go ahead go ahead <laughs> uh huh uh huh uh so uh What's your thoughts on um, the, 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 uh, the music industry and where it's going right now? I say uh, it's kind of a hit and miss. Only if you have followers, I see. I see that's a new thing. You got to have your followers up on the social media. You got to have, uh, you know, I guess that's how the labels, that, that's how they pick them. So. Right now, I'm just focused on, you know, trying to get my fan base up, let them know I'm coming. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying, and uh, absolutely, I felt like the the industry is is flooded with a lot of artists that's trying to watch the youngsters. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel personally. They want everybody to be popping pills. They want everybody to be shooting them up. They want uh, everybody, you know, perk this, lean that. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. I'm not knocking nobody. If that's what you do, that's right. not to be pushing up on the youth and have everybody, all the youngsters doing it, you know, and everything's laced with fitting on nowadays. You know, you can't trust nothing. So, mm. man, I just, I just want everybody to be safe out there, man. If y'all, if y'all gonna do what y'all do, man, y'all, y'all gotta be smart about it. Absolutely, that's profound, right there. You said some profound words. Don't let it go over your head, ladies and gentlemen. He said something that you could. That game you can rewind, <laughs> as my main man Bay say, E forty say, hey, that game you can rewind, man. So if you want to hear it again, he hey, go back to this video, rewind it, and man, he's saying something profound right there in that little segment right there. Hey, man, we could do it, y'all. We could do it together. You know what I mean? Hey, have you been performing here lately since the COVID nineteen? Have you did any performances? Nah, last show I did was uh twenty seventeen. It was uh mm -hmm. Shutter Cup. Oh, okay. Okay. You looking to do any performances here in the near future? Yes, sir. Definitely. That's why I'm trying to work on this new material. You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep the world updated at any time. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I'm pretty much all I had this album done by the summertime. That, that's my goal. That's right. That's right. Is it all a solo album or do you have any features? Are you going to be collaborating with any artists? So far, it's uh, just me, but uh, I'm definitely going to have some features. 
Mm -hmm. So is it anybody you haven't collaborated in the game that you want to collaborate with? Whoever want to collaborate with me at this point, that's that's what I'm on. Okay. I'm not to reach out to people because I know their schedule is you know busy or you know it's a lot of politics with a lot of people. So uh, you know I just try to just focus on me. No, absolutely, that's right. I ain't mad at that. Hey, you supposed to. You know what I'm saying? That's how you you know you gotta go through greatness to get to greatness, and uh, sometimes it requires you to do you. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually elevate. To the next level, you know what I mean, and that and ain't nothing wrong with that, my brother. That's real. I, I I feel you on that note, man. I feel you on that note. So, uh, can you tell us about uh one of your most memorable performances in the studio or like recording a song? Uh, I want to say one of my most memorable performances is when uh, I did a nonprofit in uh, what was that, Gonzalez Park, I believe. Mm -hmm, kind of. mm -hmm. I did that. Uh, my son was like two years old. And right before I got on the stage, I told him, I said, your, your dad's about to go on the stage perform. You want to see your dad perform? He, you know, nodded his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. as I'm performing, I already told everybody, like, my son's not going to let me perform without trying to get on stage. He, he going to want the mic. Sure enough, I'm in the second song, get to the second verse. He already trying to get on stage. He fighting everybody to push him off and get on stage. And I just let him get the mic. Mm -hmm. I already knew he was going to, you know, he's going to want to do that. Now he's 10 years old. <laughs> wow. Is he, is he, is he pursuing uh, music or following in your footsteps or he doing other things at that age? He's <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, you know, he's playing games and all that, but he loves yeah. music, sing, rap, wow. dance. He do it all. Wow, a little entertainer, huh? Sir. Got it from Pops. That's right. <laughs> Look, Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> mm hmm Wow. Right. Amazing, man. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me um let me get into this uh video and see what we got right here. Now when we come back, we're gonna talk about it. Uh right here. Tearing at your flesh They gon' keep biting until there's nothing left They real hungry on the west Watch your steps drift Vampire life, feast to the last drip Up all night, waiting on your ass to slip You made the sacrifice, now you can't quit It's all bad, it's too late for the bullshit I'm trying to get rich Y'all can have the fame These artists still kids, they need to be potty trained They retired the weed when the mileage came they numb from the drugs, they feel no pain Cause you ain't about that life You don't have that heart You don't have them stripes You don't play your part You rap hard in the mic And life, you probably a mark A piranha, that little white boy swim with them sharks Man, you ain't about that life You don't have that heart You don't have them stripes You don't play your part You rap hard in the mic And life, you probably a mark 
A piranha, that little white boy swim with the sharks Man, I need all action, no wordplay Niggas fake as fuck, that's how I feel today You still lying to kick it with no point intended Stay real in the field is what's recommended I always learn from my life lessons I can't waste time, gotta grind every second I hold my city down, your boy forever rapping Till I'm resting in the sky, living high like a jet And I'm so determined to get it while living in no recession Knowing once I make it in the game, I make a big investment Right now my head is fucked up, shit is real hectic I'm an unsigned artist, so the streets is what I'm left with It's so easy to get washed away So I stay sucker free and let it see another day Got money on my brain, nigga trying to stay paid Once you lost in the sauce, you can't escape Real shit, man Right now I'm focused Focus on I, I can't let that foolish pride fuck up my life I leave it up to God, let the man above decide on who I'm supposed to believe in Cause the world is full of lies Only my real niggas can testify to the truth that I be spitting No, I ain't just spitting rhymes, I'm from South Central It's nothing to live a life of crime, but doing 25 could be a waste of talent and time You ain't about that life, you don't have that heart You don't have them stripes, you don't play your part You rap hard in the mic and life, you probably a mark Swim with them sharks, man, you ain't about that life You don't have that heart, you don't have them stripes You don't play your part, you rap hard in the mic And life, you're probably a mark A piranha, that little white boy swim with them sharks Yeah, yeah Man That thing be rocky right there Oh, good looking hey, yo. Yeah, that thing be bumping right there, for real <laughs> I got a snap of greatness on that one. Snap of greatness, my brother. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely. I love the lyrical content. You ain't really oh. killing nobody and chopping off no heads. You just giving them straight facts. Mm. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. How did you come up with that concept right there? Man, I've been, uh, I was watching everybody. You know, that was, that was around the time I had just came back from San Diego. Mm -hmm. and just watching how everybody you know was getting down and all that and that's how i was feeling at the moment wow amazing you came up with that treatment for the video as well yes sir yes sir wow yeah that was pretty dope man i like that different that's you know cool. unique mm -hmm. wow man Over about there. that life huh <laughs> it's crazy though wow, man. that was one of the songs the first songs of my son that my son, uh, he knew. He learned that. Oh, all the words. Wow. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, that's dope. Hey, man, is it possible uh, you can give us a testimony of how God may have worked in your life? God is beautiful. God is beautiful. <laughs> See, I like the smile you gave off right there. You, God is beautiful. He is, man. Absolutely, man. <laughs> uh, where do I begin? I just got some news today. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I know God definitely. Well, just a past, a past testimony uh, of somewhere. You know, you know, he was definitely working in your life to make something happen and push well, you I, forward and elevate you to I, the next level. Like this, I, I, I was, man, I, I was in a ten car pileup when I was nine years old. Don't do that, man, wow. to me, man. Wow. You yeah. walk a miracle, my brother. Come on now, talk to us, man. Let the world know your story, man. Your voice is being heard. I don't know if you can see the, the lines in my head. I had a big hole in my head about this big. My mom, she could stick her whole fist inside my forehead. It was it was me. And, and it my... You had a hole <laughs> on the forehead? <laughs> Yo, I'm not laughing. I'm just saying the miracle of God. You mean it? Boy, I'm boy, I'm about to get super excited. I got to round here and start boy tearing up, man, because stuff mom, go to my heart, man. That's mom, deep. My mom, she took Damn. Off my, took off my beanie to apply pressure, and her whole fist ended up going inside my forehead and tripped her out. You know what I'm saying? And then uh she she snatched wow. me out. And when she snatched me out the car, uh, realized that my big sister was still in the car and uh she got hit by like five cars before we can get to her and snatch her out the car. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She ended up, um, ended up being um, almost paralyzed on her whole left side. She had internal bleedings on her whole left side. Couldn't walk for a while. So, yeah, it was, it was a miracle. Another man named Frank. God, man. 
that was an angel sent him to come. That was an angel, man. He ran across the freeway to come save us. Call nine one one before he ended up uh, running across the freeway, and he ended up trying to run back to go get the cover. And uh, it was raining, storming, and then uh, he ended up trying to come back and get save us. Long story short, uh, he got hit by a car and all that, and we saw all that. He ended up passing away. Wow, man, 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 man. My condolence to that brother, man, and his family. Wow. One for him. Wow, God spared you, man. You, you, you a blessing, brother. Wow. Wow. He spared you. You got a purpose out here, man. To share with what your testimony, man, is how real God is, man. That's amazing, man. Whoo, that's deep, boy. That's mm. deep right there, man. Hey, man. That's but very everybody, deep. But, but everybody in in the car that was involved in the car accident from I mean in your family. On my, everybody... end, yeah, on my end, it was we cold part, we were seven deep. Wow, it was seven days. We was in uh in the middle about to move, moving from the city, we ended up moving uh around Pond Springs, and wow. uh yeah, that's, all that went around the same freeway. I can just imagine, you know, in that moment, uh, you said your mom was the one that that seen that got you out of the car seat, right? Yeah, I, mean, I, can, um, I can just imagine, you know, the thought in her mind in that little moment when everything was what she seen. Because you know, there's a lot of people they see stuff like that, they freak out, don't know what to do. And you know, thank God that she was able to, you know, calm down and was able to think at least something to help you out, man. And she didn't, so, yeah, yeah, that was a beautiful, I mean, I mean, not a beautiful thing of what happened, but in her actions of what she did, you know what I mean? Oh, thanks yes, pretty quick. And uh, you know, man, God was definitely there, man. He, he, he got you, and, and then he sent that man. It was kind of funny when you said that because I mean not funny, but uh you said his name was Frank. Yes, sir. Just like you. Yes, sir. Uh, but but his actions that he did to help you and the family, that was a noble person, man. So Frank Noble, that's that's amazing, man. Ooh, that's deep. Ah, that's deep. Around that's that time. Time. You know what I'm saying? Around that time is when I got the name and when I moved back to LA. Wow. And what I what I I mean I know I, I, I listened to the story what you said I know it's deep it's crazy because it was a big delicate accident you know and and whoever got injured or I mean either lost their life and they got condolences to their family uh but when you said that and your name being Frank and that man that helped you out and your family named Frank and then later on in time you became Frank Noble that was a noble man that helped y'all out right there man that's real. So wow. Keep his legacy alive and name alive through that right there. Wow, amazing wow. man! God is good. Yeah. He sent that angel to come save me and my family for real. I'm forever grateful. Wow, wow, man. that's amazing, man! Wow, got a little tear jerker. Don't worry about it. It'll be all right. <laughs> that's deep though. God is moving, man. Yes, yeah. Sir. Hey, man, you here for a reason? You got a purpose to be here. Hey man, keep doing your music. Don't ever, 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 ever stop because that message is going to come through what you do when you use that pen and that paper and you put it all down. You got a vision, write it in that music, man, and, and let the world know because you got a voice, man. Let it continue to ring and man, don't let it, don't let it not be heard. Keep making music, man. Keep yes, making music. You're here right for now, a purpose. Uh, right now I'm working on um, I Am What I Write Too. And fuck the hooks too. That's what I'm working on. My album and my okay. Wow. Amazing. 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 Keep doing it, man. I wish you nothing but success and nothing but upward trajectory. You know, going straight to the top. You know what I'm saying? Non-stop. You know what I'm saying? Take off like a rocket and just keep going. Appreciate All the way, man. Get stuck up in the hemisphere, like I always say. Y'all heard it first right here on the She Is Near Talent TV. We going all the way up, ladies and gentlemen. We connected with Frank Noble. Hey, y'all already know, man. It is what it is, and that's all it's going to ever be right here on the She Is Near Talent TV. Let's get into some of this uh, stacking lucha, and we're going to come back and talk about it, my brother. Wow. Blessings. Yes. 
I'm just stacking low G, grind and staying clear from the group, keep a toolie just in case I'm trying to do something to me, no gang goofy, just me and my foley, cameras rolling when it's time to shoot a movie, I'm just stacking low G, grind and staying clear from the group, keep a toolie just in case I'm trying to do something to me, no gang goofy, just me and my foley, cameras rolling when it's time to shoot a movie, it's only one place to go and that's up from here, it's up from here. I haven't felt this way in years They said the young niggas need to respect their peers Well, I said the old heads need to respect the gear Coming out the foreign The liquor I've been pouring Got me pulling all night It's hard to keep my eyes open But all the dollar signs on my mind Keep me going I hustle from sundown Until the top of the morning I'm getting to a daily I ain't living for the moment Once you see that clear vision in the sky You gotta own it I can taste it That's how bad I want it Try to stop me I'll make your head spin like the omen The money got me possessed It got me chasing success Grant Jackson's a Franklin's Whatever I can't collect Why y'all trying to be the man I'm trying to be the connect That y'all gotta go through When you land at the LA. I'm just stacking low G Grinding, staying clear From the group Keep a toolie Just in case I'm trying to do something to me No gang goofy Just me and my foley Cameras rolling When it's time to shoot a movie I'm just stacking low G Grinding, staying clear from the group, keep a toolie just in case we try to do something to me. No gang goofy, it's just me and my foley. Cameras rolling when it's time to shoot a movie. Ain't no other way. Time is money, I gotta get it. Can't care less how y'all was raised. I was told to stay on the chase. Can't less what the people say. Never ride the next nigga way. And if they detour your lane, they ain't stopping shit. So when you start, then you gotta commit. Dedicated at getting greater, that's on the top of my list. I apply it to everything I do when you hear me speak. Bro, niggas, they knowledge shit. That's where it's set. Then buy it quick with no hesitation. That's how you know your music makes a statement. That's when you know you really gone places. And when I'm out, I keep my same partners with me. No unfamiliar faces. Small circles, don't need for replacements, yeah And we all made arrangements Been preparing for uncertainly changes Whole team grinding, we get it Without trying to become famous When society treating your race as strangers Can you blame us for making the way? Expect us to survive off a minimum wage The IRS come hit you, deducting your pay Barely getting by a real millennium slate That's why I go hard in the I'm paint. stacking low G, grinding, staying clear from the group Keep a toolie just in case I'm trying to do something to me No gang goofy, just me and my foley Cameras rolling when it's time to shoot a movie I'm just stacking low G, grinding, staying clear from the group Keep a toolie just in case I'm trying to do something to me No gang goofy, just me and my foley Cameras rolling when it's time to shoot a movie for greatness my brother wow absolutely phenomenal man stacking luchi i like your voice man uh have you ever thought about doing uh voiceover work if i'm blessed with the opportunity i'll do it yeah i think you got the what it takes man that god given gift man a sound you know you got that sound that's dope you ride that track right too so what's the uh, tempo of that track what, what what tempo you like to rap in? I'll rap in any tempo. Is that right? <laughs> you got that fast lyrical flow too? Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to have to send you the, uh, the fuck the hooks. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for sure. Fast tempo on there. Yeah. And then uh, I got one uh, I'm working on. Well, I actually it's already done. I just got to record it. It's uh, called mm -hmm. Letter, Letter to Little Hound. The one I dedicate to my, my big cousin, rest in peace. Rest in peace, my condolence to you know, the family and everything. Family. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I Ooh, spit peace, back. love, and respect. Yeah, yeah man, that's a, that's amazing, man. Keep writing them, them, them songs, man. You got what it takes, my brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, man, right about this time, we always ask this question to everybody who comes through the show. Hey, man, you got to give it to us live raw and, and clear live and direct so the question is <clears throat> what's the 
What is your most five or who is your most five legendary artist in your mind and heart right now? Any genre of music first, and then give us a little bit of why you chose them. And then uh, they could be here today or going on home to the father. Uh, go at it. Right, Top five right. most legendary artists. I say Pac for what he did at such a young age. Mm -hmm. And if he was still here, it's no telling what he could have accomplished. Mm -hmm. Same thing as Nip, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. He definitely would have accomplished greatness. So I say. Oh, absolutely. All, both of those are iconics, man. Iconic legends. They're going to always be known and recognized and remembered. Come on, man. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. Absolutely. I say Snoop for what he done for just the community, for the youngsters, mm -hmm. all that, uh, you know, just to, to keep going in this game. He's definitely yeah. um, Ice Cube, of course. Mm hmm for him to only not only you know write hit records that you know everybody's still rapping still to this day but to move on to movies as well you know to take over that scene, yeah mm -hmm. he, he up on his thing and then uh i want to say uh what's that that's four that's four mm -hmm. yeah that's four uh i want to say uh Crooked Eye slept on. Wow, amazing. Another talented artist, another iconic legend. He's been in the game for a while doing amazing things. You're right. Wow. Y'all better stop sleeping on Crooked Eye. <laughs> There's people out here who love what he do, man. Trust and believe that. Somebody else said Crooked Eye, I think. You know, so yeah, he's, he's a legend in the game. People do remember and uh, recognize this gift. You know, that God gave him, man. Wow, amazing. Amazing. That's a great list, my brother. That's a great yep. list. That's a powerful mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know, uh, well, when you come back, because we're going to always offer you an opportunity to come back when you get some more music on the table and you got your videos up for the with a stack of Lucci and everything. We definitely want you back. But uh, that was a great list, man. And uh, you can do another top five because we're going to ask you again because every time you grace the stage. We, see, we say top five. Because we want, you know, to see where you at right now. But you always, you know, can do more of other artists that you like in the game. You know, that's that's legends as well. So that's why we do it like that. So when, we, when you come back, you can do another top five, a different top five if you want to, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, how do you see yourself evolving in the next year and a half, two years? That's a good question. I say, uh, may have some artists under me. May have some artists under Drag West Entertainment. Uh, definitely gonna have uh, more music out there for sure. More mm -hmm. this year, I'm actually shooting. A video to a song called uh, "Won't Be the Same" going on my album. I'm shooting in New York. Wow! So definitely gonna get the world a different feel, you know. West Coast different, artist, yeah, different feel. Exactly, absolutely. Can you so, talk about your uh, song "Speak When Spoken To"? Oh yeah, that's uh, dropping on, on all digital platforms April 10th. Uh, mm -hmm. Produced by Dove He Rocks. Uh, Speak When You Spoke To is uh, the next single on the, dropping on the album I Am What I Write To. That's just uh, one of those coming from the heart. Mm, coming from the heart. Bumping their guns, speaking when they ain't supposed to speak to. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. speak. so uh I had to write one about it. That's right. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Is that going to come with a video as well? Definitely. Definitely. First two singles. I'm wow. So, do you think it's important to uh, have visuals with new music now today? Definitely. With all your singles that you put out, definitely got to get the world the face for the music. Mm -hmm. So, uh, got to have something to promote, market, get something out mm -hmm. there, uh, 
make sure the the video fits the song. Mm. Mm. So that's yeah. The, as far as the treatment, making sure you got the right elements in it. I got you. Yeah, wow, man. amazing. Do you do your? Yeah, you right. You shoot your own videos, or you got a team, or or somebody that you work with uh, filming the videos. I used to have a team. So now it's just uh, whoever trying to get down with me. That's right. Okay. I got a, I got a few directors, you know, uh, ready to go, but uh, just haven't chose the right one yet, though. But shout out to uh, right. shout out to Home Moose. And uh, who shot that other one? Uh, my bad if uh, I can't think of his name. But uh, he, That's he, all he, good. He shot the last one. I shot uh off the fuck the hooks, uh, gas and all. Mm hmm. Wow. So I might end up uh, hot again. But uh, if anybody out there want to work with me, you know, shit, tap in. That's it. Let them know how they can get to you then. I mean, give them your social media connects and all of that greatness. Uh, Frank Noble the one on Twitter and IG. No, Facebook is uh, Frank Noble. Simple Simon, y'all. You can reach him. You can find him. Everything seems like his dress right dress. Like he ain't going to change it up. So you can't find him. You, you, Frank Noble, man. <laughs> the one and only. huh? <laughs> That's right. Hey, man, if at all, do you ever get criticism? And how do you handle it? And how does it help you grow as an artist? I know everybody got an opinion. So I just try not to let it get to me, you know, just mm -hmm. like I said, everybody going to speak on something. So uh, I know I got my family and, you know, my, my real supporters out there that really get down with me. So I try not to let the negativity, you know, uh, affect me. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. That's that's real. I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? You can't let it affect you because a lot of times it's just the get you out your character, you know what I'm saying? How you, you know, no, uh, get, get, get out your character and get and jump off your square that you holding down, you know what I mean? And make you, you know, do things that you wouldn't normally do. So yeah, you right about that. Yeah. Just overlook it, shine it on, you know what I mean? It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna bother you. It ain't gonna affect you. Mm. Not whatsoever. Just keep pushing and grinding. You know what I mean? Doing what you do. You got a God given gift. And I say, continue to do that, man. Yes, 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 absolutely. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Uh, can you talk about any particular rewarding moment in your career thus far since you've been doing it? Uh, shout out to Overtime Hustling Magazine and just Overtime mm -hmm. Hustling. Uh, got a chance to um, do two of their magazines. Um, I was a part of a couple of the uh, the hip hop awards with uh who did that uh was it justified I believe it was justified shout out justified to all oh wow wow amazing yeah I remember yeah. justified yeah, I did a couple of those um okay just uh oh open up for Kendrick Lamar in 2011 is that right wow what was that like uh, it, it, it was dope, man. That's when uh shout out to my homeboys, Hustle Horlicks was was uh we had a group. That's when I That's first came home. My Long Beach homeboys and uh my boy Conta Moose. Conta Moose. Shout out, peace, love, and respect to all them brothers, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, we had unity, uh, man. Showing that unity, man. That's gotta, get connected with brothers. That's dope. That's the shiz near, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Open That's up dope. Camp. I like that. It was it was a dope experience, man. Definitely uh, mm -hmm. proud going even back then. So I knew he was definitely gonna be somebody. So how many people you think was in attendance? Ooh. <laughs> Where was that at? I believe that was in uh, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a theater. So uh, he had the whole theater. Like, so <laughs> I came in over, over a thousand. For sure, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. it was packed. I mean, everybody knew packed. his. 
<laughs> wow, that's amazing. Can I ask you real quick? Did when you went on to perform, did you get stage fright? I ain't gonna did lie. You get to a little butterfly. I ain't gonna or lie. You, you bypass all that and go do your work, do what you do. I ain't gonna lie, I did. You know what I'm saying? That was my first time <laughs> for a big crowd. So like we got a chance to do well. I think it was like two songs each. So me and my cousin did the first song, and then by the time I got to the second song, I shook it off. You know what I'm saying? And it was ready to go. Mm -hmm. So so wow. when you when you first got on the stage, you said it was your first time doing a big public like that? Yeah. Did, did you feel a little bit shaky, a little bit on the microphone? Yeah, when I, when I first, <laughs> yeah, when I first was rapping, I ain't gonna front, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I, I felt a little bit, so then once I, you know what I'm saying, kind of shook that off a little bit, and about the time I saw my cousin getting it in, and then went back and hit a blunt real quick and shook that off real quick, by the time I got to my second song, I killed it. That's right. Wow, That's right. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, a lot of people, they, you know, they, you feel that little, little, but that's normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's probably the the excitement, your mind's thinking about where you at. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's good, man. It's good that you overcome it and smoke a little something, get it going, keep get back right on the road. Sir. Oh yeah, absolutely. The show <laughs> must go on, man. Stay professional right. at all times. Now, yeah. I got. Can I ask you a question? Because a lot of people say when you look into the crowd's eyes, that's what make you nervous. So, did you look over their head, like? You at know, first, like just yeah. all in their eyes at first, and that's <laughs> you know, everybody might not be feeling your music and all that. So, of course, they don't know your music. So, you mm -hmm. know, for the first time getting the new material and all that, I was kind of like looking around, like, damn, is they feeling my music. And then once I kind of like shook it off and then realized they was it was rocking with me, you know, I just kept it going. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's the shit, isn't it, man? That sounds like a professional artist who know how to entertain the crowd. You know what I mean? Keep doing it, man. Get a lot more performances going. Hey, man, we got a uh, MP3 right here, man. We finna play you, man. And uh, when we come back, we gonna talk about it, my brother. Two, one. Mm -hmm. Number one, one, and built to stay that way. The Spizzle. Oh, you heard what? You nigga, nigga, all you do is side talk and motherfucking pillow talk, nigga. Whatever the fuck you heard, why you relaying it to me, nigga? They wasn't talking to me. What the fuck you telling me for, nigga? Don't speak unless your motherfucking spoken to. <laughs> On my mind. Yo, no, get at these bust-ass, oh, bitch-breath-ass niggas. If I didn't say your name, don't mention me or say a damn thing. Oh, shit, what you supposed to do? Best way to maintain is to do you and stay in your own lane. OGs never taught you the game. Same rules apply, ain't shit changed. I don't care about you, you dead homie. So the hood that you claim. People ain't built like they used to be. I was taught if they don't say your name, then you don't need to speak. Mouth shut, certain secrets niggas need to keep. There's no more loyalty, they stop following when codes of the streets. Hear shit, and they quick to run the tear. Worse than these bitches, do more pillow talking than females. Twisting the words, leaving out the important details. You lie about everything, even pump up your weed sales. Man, keep that bullshit to yourself. Smoking that bammer is bad for your health. They start snitching whenever they near a jail cell. Jail cell. A dead rat makes a bad smell. It's your boy Frank Noble, and you are now tapped into the spizzle. Three, two, one. Number one. One. And built to stay that way. Go! The spizzle.com. You heard what? You nigga. Nigga, all you do is side talk and motherfucking pillow talk, nigga. Whatever the fuck you heard. Y'all already know. You know it already got the stamp. Bam. 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 Stamp for greatness, my brother. Wow. Speak when spoken to. Y'all heard it, man. Don't just be out there yapping and rapping and capping. Speak when spoken to. That's hard, man. I like that. Coming with it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. What did it take to get that one going? How long did it take you to write that song when you went in the studio to do it? One take, two take, or three takes? Oh, that was a one take Jake right there. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's what I figured, because I could tell the way you flowing. It's like, boom, it's like right on. Uh, yeah, that was hitting one, them, right punching there. I, them. I 
actually been sitting on that beat for a minute because I had some little technical difficulties. The uh, the bass was too it was too much, too loud. So I had to end it up, uh, you know, getting the uh, my folks that did the beat. He, he had to uh, pretty much like remake it. And, uh, yeah, that's how I was able to record it. Mm, okay, absolutely fire. That's Bay Leaf saying fire. Oh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for showing up, hanging out with the Live is Live on YouTube. Y'all already know what it do. Is your talent boo-boo, or is it the she is niat? Evidently, you already know Frank Noble got some of that she is niat. His music is on hot, y'all. Y'all go pick it up. It's coming out. He got some stuff already out there. Let them know where they can find it, man, on all the platforms. Give them everything, man, once again. And then give your shots out, too, whoever you want to shout out. Stack and Lucci, produced by Mad Sav. He out there in the Bay. Appreciate him for giving me that slumper, man. Yeah, that's out right now. That's the, that's the single that's out on all digital platforms. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, speak when you're spoken to. That's the next single that's dropping April 10th. It's gonna be on all digital platforms as well. Uh, shout out to everybody messing with me, man. That uh, uh, speak when you spoke to. That's produced by Dub. He rocks. Uh, I just appreciate everybody rocking with me, man. Staying. Solid and uh, you know, staying focused, man. That's all I'm on, man. Peace, love, and respect, my brother. I love you, man. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out with the live is live on YouTube. And that is the she is near talent TV. You already know what to do, man. Stilo, you want to um, give him some last shots out before you get up out of here, man? I hate to go, man, but you know, it's funny how time flies when you're having fun, man. Hey, man, we want to welcome you back anytime you're ready to come back. Hang out with us, man. We we gonna open on open arms over here, man. You can do that. You know what I mean? We love you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right there. Right there, man. I'm I'm gonna send y'all some merch soon. So don't on the trip. I'm All right for sure. Out. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll bang out with you, man. You know how we do. <laughs> That's oh, the man. she is need. <laughs> Steal a beast. You wanna <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh man, you know, it's a privilege you being on here, kicking it with us, you know, hanging out, telling your little your story. It's definitely a great one. You're definitely gifted, my brother. You know, we wish you the best and nothing but love, peace, respect for you and your journey ahead of you, my brother. I my appreciate that. For real. Yes, Absolutely, man. And okay. with that being said, hey, nothing but fire. We see everybody up in the chat. You know, Drowsy the Mac, Bay Lee, Jerry Blaze Bay, the Don, everybody, hey. man. I love y'all, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing out there, man. Peace, love, and respect. Make sure y'all pick up the phone. Holler at somebody you love. Let them know you love them. You calling just to check on them. That's some profound words by my main man, Mr. Payback. He say, do it. I say, do it with him. I stand with him on that. I stand firm with him on that. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you already know, I need everybody to stay rooted in love. Stay mm. rooted in truth. Stay yes. rooted in what? Faith. Because even if you're going through darkness, you can come out on the other side of that darkness into the light. That light is you. That's God's love. Greatness on display. A life of victory every day for everybody. And y'all already know, Jesus is real. Yes, sir. I'm doing good, Dick. How you doing? I'm good, man. I guess we want to know if we can shoot a video here at the churches I know. Is it going to glorify God? Of course. Of course, right. of course. Now, is there anything we can or cannot do at the church? As long as you recognize that Jesus is real, it's all good. <laughs> I got you, man. We're going to make sure that happens. All right. Yeah. Hey, yo, yo, man. Something's going on in front of the church. What's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, my Jesus is real, man. I'ma tell you what he brought me through. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jesus is real, sincere with the gratitude. I used to be the dude walking around with the attitude. Now I'ma keep it real, tell you just what he brought me through. Been shot five times, and they thought they had got me too. Now I can take it back to my days on Figueroa. When I had him on the streets, man, I had him 
on the corner. Came up and bought a house and I moved out to Corona. From the package, I was slinging all the way to Arizona. Now Jesus is real, he done brought me through it all. And took a couple lows, I done took a couple falls. That even hit the pen, me mugging through them halls. And just to get the child, I had to walk you through the fall. Now I can tell you more, and it's all gonna be real. The only way I'm here is, man, I had to take the deal. Now I can take my time and I can tell you how I feel. My Jesus is the only way I got to keep it real. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Attempted suicide. It didn't work. Then it had to be a reason, cause his grace gave me work. I done been on my deathbed. Gunshots couldn't see the devil coming, cause my mind's on rock. On my way to doing life, pull a bag and a murder. Seen the tears in my baby's eyes. She was hurt. So I got on my face and begging God for his favor. I heard the homies laughing, so I prayed with my neighbor. I done enough dirt in the streets, and I don't really want to deal with the soul. Did I read Ricky Harris said it all one night at the church? Me and Hank both smiled, not knowing it were her. Jesus is real. Untouchable, I stay fitted to get it. Yeah, like he cliff huxtable. Cruising down the street in my six foot. I walked the edge of the razor in pursuit of my dope. I was ruthless. I kept it rocking to the right side. My son had to eat, so ain't a thing I won't try. This lifestyle I live, it led to prison and back. I was feeling persecuted, yeah, like John the Baptist. My mama used to ask me, boy, when you go quit it? At the same time, praying for me, hoping I get it. My soul was heavy burdened, I was short on faith. One night I heard the voice of God and I saw his son's face. I started praying for myself and got stronger than the Lord and now I reap a better harvest, way bigger than before. I wear the armor of the Father, ain't no need for a gun, cause I'm protected by the blood, cause now I'm walking with his son. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. What's going on? What's buddy? up, Big Hank? Man, I can't call it. What's happening with you, homie? Everything good, man. You remember the testimony night? Man, that night with Ricky Harris at that church? Man, that still on my man, mind heavy, man. That blessed me, homie. When I seen y'all pull off, homie, I was just like, man, it's, it, it, it just seemed like he was an angel already, man. Yeah, he was. He said God is real. That's what he did say, God, God is, is real. real. What the West like? West like? West like? West like. <laughs> Yeah, I got my boy Big Troop on this track. On this track. Fresh on the LA. LA. We about to make it rain, you know. It's what it is, homeboy. I represent the greatest of all time, but deep up in my bloodline in this war crime. And talking about the CIM, GIM, the guard in me, the way the fake of the sword in me. When the word called is survivory, I'm sick of time living in the property. Don't get it twisted, though I miss property. The way to stop when we know the clock, I'm mean, making just dropping me. I'm here to the last breath of me, the depth of me is my destiny. To the place me on my deathbed. When my body pumped up full with lead in the dark, the finances and boy is there when I'm a breath for heat. With so many people losing their mind, BB and crime. The mind is if I accidentally get back in the mind. I lose my heartbeat as a flat line. Father, help me, because I'm going insane. Can't you please take the antidote to check my brain and the love be pain the rose die? Please explain. I know I'm a thug going against the grain. Can you drain my torment to brain? Break me free from this place in the chain. Release me from this puppet's reins. I win the praise and name, I win the ring, you bet the rap game. Well done, my son, now let it rain. 
penetration of a bullet of a tank Now I've been ripped some way in my life and scarred a life But I know that you know the name of the watch over my daughter And even my own life, so it's sad to say How many people get trapped in the game to claim the fame But gain the whole world and lose their own soul They ain't reaching the thing, it's like a rap the flame But claim that by the name, it's what I bang It's a hog knock life, you never know what you're gonna get In the land of pain and strife In this world of shame, they let them ever nick the city Great soul can bang And it was gold that you brought Went out with the bang Go dang Remember the name Jesus Now let it rain Jesus Now let it rain His name is Jesus Father help me cause I'm going insane Can't you please take the antidote to check my brain And the love be pain the world's die Please explain I know I'm a thug going against the grain Can you drain my tormented brain Break me free from this prison to chains Release me from his puppet strings I win the praise and name I win the weekend back the rap game Well done my son, now let it rain Okay, style. We gonna have to slow it down a little bit, my nigga. I know we been banging out them bangers on their ass. But let me rap to them for a second. Yeah, it's political pressure. There's too much shit going on in the world right now. Why don't y'all roll y'all one? Blow a joint with your boy, JD. I ain't bullshitting. No, hell no. I want you to stop. Separate the government from your religion Now separate religion from your day-to-day -day life It ain't no more pressure, it ain't no more strife Red pill or blue pill, what the fuck is the difference When these motherfuckers really wanna rule your existence Wanna tell a fucking woman what to do with her body Even if she get raped and sent to a lobby You crackers moving backwards with this hillbilly shit And niggas make it easy when we on silly shit Why y'all killing fucking brothers when they ain't the ops Then you run with your Glock when the cop at the blocks Black lives matter, period but fuck all that protesting shit like some idiots <laughs> Link with the natives, the essays, the Asians Create a lane for ourselves in this Political nation Political pressures, media fake Fabrications, you can see the hate Propaganda got their own agendas uh. Misleading the public for their own interests yeah, and if yeah, you feel me, uh. can I get a witness? Oh, I want justice, why we live in all the violence I won't be silenced, what if I won't do? And I know what to do They want to go mad at on a 40, fuck up you, I'm in a Cadillac Profile, cause I keep a G style I ain't with that widow shit, my destiny This is a child Why? They hit us with that stimmy But pull up at that Roscoe's and niggas like Gimme, give give me that cold game, nigga die over gold chain Pinky rain in the crime scene Painted man, hub city to the shot We on the same thing Queens niggas, Philly killers, feeling all my pain Gorilla chill, one of the last at the round table A full blast on smash like Kane and Abel Niggas jealous of my pedigree But let it be some drama I could put that on my mama But you still believe the bull that they feed us Was to put your faith in Allah, Buddha, Political all Jesus Political pressures, your faith Fabrications, you can see the hate Propaganda got their own agendas Misleading the public for their own interests and if you feel me, can I get a witness? Oh, I want justice, why we live in all this violence? I won't be silenced, 2502 Hey Chris, and we know it's the same old story do. with the guns and dope And yeah. nigga, I ain't gonna lie Mama gave me some hope We got the homies in the pen Like it's our turn now They touch my nigga We gon' burn this bitch down But just the other day I seen a sister get shot By a military looking ass Racist ass cop Just a routine traffic stop One black woman Five bastard ass cops I had a tear in my eye When she died Watched her go cry As she stared at the sky And Joe and his hoe They both gotta go It's a lot we don't see And a lot they don't show And Roe v. Wade It's just another play For that white man Who know he gotta read Populate. See they numbers getting showed and he's scared I only got two words, be prepared Political pressures, media fake Fabrications, you can see the hate Propaganda got their own agendas Misleading the 